Here is the very latest as of 10 o'clock. It is still a potential tropical cyclone. And one of the big reasons for that is there is no closed circulation at the surface. In fact, when you look at this is high definition satellite, so it's actually an image every minute. The matter of fact, radar isn't that updated. You kind of see several little swirls. There almost seems to be one over here. I was kind of looking at it for a while. Sometimes it's kind of mesmerized. There almost seemed to be one over here. So this is really just kind of an, a broad, elongated surface trough more than a closed low. If it's not a closed low, it is not a tropical system. So it is still just a potential tropical cyclone. Winds are 40. So if it is able to get its act together, it would quickly become Alberto. But as I have been saying over the last couple of days, the main uh, the name is meaningless as it is going to be a rainmaker as it does move inland late tomorrow early on Thursday, taking all of the rainfall with it. Then we'll have a drier spell, especially as that upper high starts building in. Then we'll be watching for a chance of additional development down in the Bay of Campeche and almost a repeat. We could see something try and form Bay of Campeche, southwestern Gulf and get diverted right into Mexico again because of the upper high. Nothing can go into it, so that would deflect anything away from us. Also going to be watching a little area that is well off the east coast. It looks like that though will stay off the east coast and not threaten the Gulf. So the next one up after we see number one, maybe Alberto move inland will be potential development down in the southern Gulf. Our